For animals, evolution is a part of life, and adapting to the modern world can be easier for some creatures more than others. Whether through adaptation, evolution, or even mutation, animals gain abilities to help them in an ever-changing world, and in some cases, superpowers to help them against us humans. There have been amazing animal discoveries in the recent years, And although it's hard to predict where evolution will take these creatures over the next hundred or even thousand years, we may not have to wait. Some animals can already do some near impossible things. Come take a trek with me as we discover some of the most amazing animal mutations and adaptations in our modern world. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. Bed bugs. They say sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. But how are you supposed to stop bed bugs if you can't use poison? Especially the bed bugs living in New York City. Yes, research has discovered that the bed bugs in New York City have built up a resistance to pesticides, and we're not talking about small resistance either. Turns out that the bed bugs in New York are listen to this, 250 times more resistant to pesticides than bed bugs in Florida. If this wasn't bad enough already, bed bugs have quite a few other tricks up their sleeve to make sure they share a bed with you. They can survive around five months without food, and when they do feed, they feed on your blood and use an anesthetic in their saliva while biting you so you do not notice. Not to mention, they are really good at hiding, making them really difficult to find. I am sure you're wondering if there are any other animals who have adapted to poison the same way or even better. The Okapi This is yet another strange creature that you can easily believe is made up and not real at all especially once you hear what they are able to do. These funny-looking horse-like mammals have a black, tube-shaped tongue that can get up to be as long as a school ruler. In fact, their tongues are so long they use it to clean their own eyeballs. Other than acting as wiper blades, his lengthy tongue is also used to pluck buds, leaves and branches from trees and shrubs in Central Africa. But that's not the only thing The okapi uses to survive them. The okapi also sports a camouflage that makes it very possible for it to blend in its environment. The stripes, although it resembles a zebra, the okapi is genetically closely related to the giraffe. Atlantic cod. When trying to eat a healthy diet, fish is on the top of the list low on saturated fats and very healthy for the system. Many fish have been hunted to extinction. As a consequence, some smart fish were forced to adapt in order to survive. For a long time, the Atlantic cod was one of the most overfished species of fish. The fish are actually caught when they are at a certain size and thrown back into the ocean if they weren't mature enough or big enough yet. This action is believed to have been the cause of the Atlantic cod completely changing up its reproductive cycle. Previously, the fish will begin their cycle at the age of six when they were much larger. Now, they begin their cycle at the age of five. This means that they have a better chance of producing offspring before they become big enough to be caught and ate by humans. This adaptation is impressive, but it's sad to think that we humans have such a big impact on animals. Goliath Bird Eater If you do not like spiders, you're definitely not going to like this animal. If you wonder why it's called Goliath Bird Eater, well then, let's just say it is exactly what its name says it is. It's a massive bird-eating spider. Although, to be fair, it rarely eats birds, but instead it usually munches on other larger arthropods, worms, and amphibians. 
it has been spotted eating everything from rodents, lizards, frogs, toads, and even snakes. Yes, even snakes. You may think that a predator readily becomes prey, but in the wild, you can never be too safe. So the Goliath bird eater has also adapted to make sure that it's got a way to protect itself. One way it does it is by rubbing its abdomen with its back legs. This releases hairs that are very irritating to the skin and mucous membranes to anyone who tries to eat it and can even be very harmful to us humans. So I will suggest do not get too close to this eight-legged creature. Although I can't imagine why anyone will want to. Guinea Fall Pufferfish Scuba diving is fun. There are so many animals to look at, not because they are beautiful, but because they are dangerous. This guy just happens to be both. If you're a sushi lover, you've probably had these famous guys cousin for lunch a time or two. Meet the Guinea Fall Pufferfish, also known as the Golden Pufferfish. Why on earth is this fish called after a bird? Well, let's just say it's a case of who wore it best. Yes, the guinea fall puffer fish gets its name from its unique coloration, which resembles the polka dotted look of the guinea fall. These interesting creatures are the ninjas of the ocean, as they are able to change their color rather quickly when resting during the day to camouflage themselves from predators. If a predator still decides to make them their lunch, the guinea fall pufferfish has a few other tricks to keep them safe. Pufferfish have the nifty ability to puff themselves up by filling their tummies with water, and this makes it difficult for the predator to fit them in their mouth. And if the predator still somehow manages to do that, they still have another last defense. This fish have a symbiotic relationship with types of bacteria which produce what it's called tetrodotoxin, which is a very powerful neurotoxin. Needless to say, if a predator somehow manages to catch and eat them, they're going to have a really bad time. Honeypot ants. Teamwork makes the dream work, and nobody understands that better than the honeypot ants. These little creatures have come up with a rather unique way to store food for the rest of the colony when times are tough. They use their own bodies as a living storage. I'm not joking, I couldn't make it up if I tried. Honeypot ants get their name from the fact that they can store large amounts of honey and nectar in their abdomen as emergency food supply. When it's needed by the community, the worker ants will stroke the antennae of the honeypot ants, which causes it to cough up the goods. And I do mean that quite literally. It causes them to regurgitate the stored nectar. It sounds gross, but it's a very useful adaptation. I mean, would you want your friends to carry around food for you all the time? Mice. Can you imagine trying to get rid of vermin later to find out that the poison you're using does not work on them at all? Perhaps they even use it as a perfume de la peste. It's incredible how animals have adapted to survive everything humans throw at them, especially in cities where most people use pesticides often to get rid of anything from a tiny ant to a giant rat. Super mice were discovered in Germany. They have adapted to be resistant to warfaring, which is the type of poison commonly used to fight mice infestations. These mice got their superpowers from breeding with its distant cousin, the Algerian mouse, a mouse that is already resistant to poison. Interestingly, however, hybrid animals generally cannot reproduce, but these warfarin resistant won the genetic lottery by creating the super mighty hybrid mouse that has the right combination of genomes of two species in order to survive humans. Bombardier beetle. If there's one beetle you do not want to get on the bad side of, it's the bombardier beetle. Sure, you could ignore my advice and do it anyway, but believe me, you are going to regret it. This bad boy has chemical bombs in its arsenal and is not afraid to use it. 
In fact, the Bombardier Beatles defense system is so amazing, it sounds like something straight out of a war movie. When attacked, the Beetle launches chemical bombs containing an irritant chemical. But wait, it gets worse. The Beetle doesn't detonate just one of these powerful bombs. Instead, it launches up to 20 before finally running out of ammunition. This distracts their enemy long enough for them to whisk away, leaving their attackers in their toxic wake, likely regretting all their decisions that led up to this point. Like I said, do not mess with these Bombardier Beetle. And if you do, don't say I didn't warn you. Elephants The largest living land animals on the entire planet. You will think that elephants wouldn't have a lot to worry about. No predator will be able to attack it just because of its sheer size, right? Well, there is one predator that has hunted elephants nearly to extinction us humans. Yes, ivory poaching has had a detrimental effect on elephants. They have had to adapt and evolve in order to survive. One way they have done that is to get rid of the reason why they're being hunted in the first place, their tusks. In 1969, only a little more than 10% of all Zambian elephants were born with a mutation that stopped their growth of tusks. But only 20 years later, a peak time in ivory poaching in the country, that number shot up to over 38. That's not all. In one study done by Oxford University, it was discovered that African elephants have specific alarm calls they make to warn other elephants of elephant hunting tribes nearby. Tawny Crazy Ant Imagine if you lose power in your home and the culprit is not a thunderstorm, but maybe something more sinister. This animal adaptation, or perhaps mutation, has been studied extensively, but scientists don't seem to find the reason for their behavior. Here is a particular ant with a bizarre sense of taste. For whatever reason, they love hanging out inside electronic machinery, such as outdoor electrical boxes, air conditioning units, and water pumps, and nobody knows why. Their weird love for electronic machinery might be a mystery, but it's also a big problem. They can cause serious damage by shortening out units and even starting small fires. But that's not the only reason people aren't exactly fans of these guys. The tawny crazy ants are wreaking havoc in the southern states of the U.S. and replacing the red imported fire ants as the region's biggest ant problem, and the fire ants can even fight back. Tawny crazy ants have a never-before-seen ability where they cover themselves with a formic acid secreted from their abdomen and this makes it very possible for them to withstand the stings of fire ants. The crazy ants may not be crazy, they sure know how to cause trouble and defend themselves. Source It's a zebra? It's a horse? This animal may sound like some sort of imaginary animal made up by a creative four-year-old, but I promise you, they are real. The source is a horse-zebra hybrid that you get when you crossbreed a male zebra with a female horse. You can crossbreed them the other way around, but that's generally not done. Apart from looking strange, these guys truly got the best of both worlds. They get the toughness from the horses, but their hardiness from the zebra. Sources are sturdier and larger than a zebra thanks to their horse genetics, which makes it harder for predators to catch and have them for lunch. But thanks to their zebra genes, their stripes will give them the better camouflage in the wild and they have a natural resistance to disease and certain pests that normally affect horses and donkeys. One thing is certain though, animals are amazing and the ways in which they are able to adapt and evolve to survive, it's enough to make anyone's jaw drop. Thank you for watching this video about incredible animal adaptations. Until next time. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos.